Thanks for coming back to another Q&A. We are going to answer a few very specific questions that I think a lot of you are going to want the answers to, and I wanted to break these out as individual videos to make it easier for you to find. David Stewart asks, hi, I hope you picked this up, Joseph. I have picked it up, David. I cannot get the minimum shutter speed to work. I want it to be set to one one hundredth of a second minimum, but it goes below that when in darker areas. Has anybody been able to get this to work? Maybe I'm not understanding how it works. There was a Mark Toll video today. Uh, seems setup seems simple, but you couldn't get it. Okay. So I played around with this a bit last night as well, and I think I know what was happening. So here, here's the, uh, first of all, there's a little, little background here of what's going on. As you well know, regardless of what lens you're using, there is always a point where you're going to have a shutter speed that's too long that you're going to get blurry images, right? You're going to have a uh, handshake. No matter how good the in-body of civilization is, no matter how little coffee you've had or how young you are, at some point, some lens, any lens, you're going to get below a point where hand-holding is no longer a good idea. You have the ability in the camera to set a minimum shutter speed. Now, what's really cool is that you can set automatic minimum shutter speed. And the camera will, depending on the lens that you have and the stabilization that is in play, determine what the minimum handheld shutter speed should be and not allow you to go below that. It's pretty slick. Or you can set that manually. You can say, as David said, I only want, I don't want to go below a hundredth of a second, lock it, fix it, don't go there. Great. But then David said he got into lower light situations and it was going under. What's going on? Okay, so let's first take a look at how to set it up, and then I will explain why David was having the problem. So let's go back into the camera view, and we go to custom exposure, and I think that I pass it. Oh, I passed it. Hold on. Shutter. Maybe it's not in here. I found all these yesterday, and I should have written them down. I'm sorry. My bad. Maybe it's under here. Oh yeah, there we go. It's under the camera mode. Okay, minimum shutter speed. It is set to auto, and that's probably the default. Because I don't. Can you even turn this off? Let me see. Yeah, you can't turn this off. So it's on auto by default. So he went in and he set it to one one hundredth of a second. Okay, and that's it. So now, in theory, no matter what, it's not going to go below a hundredth, but it might have. So here's here's what happens with minimum shutter speed. Let's say that you are in either program or aperture priority. If you're in manual, obviously you're setting the shutter speed manually, so we're not going to go there. So you're in program mode, full auto, or in aperture priority. Let's say that you've, let's say you're in aperture priority, make it easy. So you're controlling the aperture. You've opened it all the way up to f2.8 or whatever it is. Okay. And now your shutter speed can go wherever it's going to go, but you've said don't go below a hundredth of a second. Okay. But there's ISO, right? That's the third part of the equation. What is the ISO set at? Well, if the ISO is set to manual and you set it at, I don't know, 400 ISO, if f2.8, 400 ISO, and 1 one hundredth of a second is too dark, well, the camera doesn't have anything to do, it can't do anything except go for a longer shutter speed or you're going to have a totally underexposed picture, right? It has no choice. Likewise, and this is more likely what's happening, is you set to auto ISO, which is a fantastic thing to be able to do, and yet it's still happening. So auto ISO, will just crank up the ISO. Well, remember, there's a ceiling to auto ISO as well. Whatever the limit, 12,800, I think, or whatever it is, you're ceiling on the ISO. So if your aperture is, even in full program mode, full auto, if the aperture is as wide open as, as it can be, and the ISO is as high as it can be, and still 1 one hundredth of a second or whatever shutter speed you've chosen isn't long enough, the camera says, sorry, I got no choice. I have to go to a slower shutter speed or you're not going to be able to get a picture that is properly exposed. So that's what's happening. So let's let's do it in, uh, let's go the auto route. So I'm going to, let's see here, I'm in aperture priority right now, and let's go to f2.8. I'm going to set the ISO to, let's, let's go full auto, ISO auto, okay? And now you see the shutter speed is 1 one hundredth of a second. And you'll see that the ISO is set to 640. Okay, now I'm going to, I'm going to keep that shutter halfway down. Let's make this scene darker. Darker, darker. There you go. Look, the ISO jumped to 3200. Right? So now I'm still at a hundredth of a second, but let's go even darker. Even darker. ISO 10,000. Okay, now you know what? We're just going to put the lens cap on. <laughs> lens cap on. Now what happens? There. ISO is right, all the way up to 25,600, but look at the shutter speed. It's flashing at me and saying, uh oh, you're in trouble. And you know, eighth of a second, which obviously isn't going to get an exposure anyway, but that's what it is trying to calculate right now. So that's what's happening there. Now, if I go into manual, let's go into, let's just choose a 
400 ISO. So there's a 40th of a second. So there, even there, you see it's gone below 100th because F2.8 at 400 ISO, 30th of a second uh, is the minimum. I mean, it's, you know, 100th of a second is not going to give you a proper exposure. And right? if I go into full manual here, go manual and I go to 100th of a second, that's what the image would look like. It'd be underexposed. So it is overriding it. That is why. Uh, and that's it. That's why it, it, it basically is saying, I can't get an exposure that way. I can't change the ISO anymore. I can't change the aperture anymore. The only thing I got left is the shutter speed. So I'm changing it, dude. And that's what it does. If you were looking for it to absolutely unequivocally not go below 100 or, or just stay at 100, then you got to shoot full manual. Um, but that's, that's what's happening there. So I hope that answers your question, David. Thank you very much.